Well, prepare for an earlier sunrise and a very early <laughs> oh, sunset. That's right, daylight saving time ends this Sunday. Yeah, it's only an hour of time, but that change can really wreak havoc on our minds and our bodies. So we are getting some helpful advice today from Dr. Tracy Nelson of Nelson Chiropractic. Tracy, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Yes, good to have you. So obviously, you know, when daylight saving time rolls around, yeah. whether it's in the fall or in the spring, you hear the groan, you know, people know that their sleep <laughs> schedule is going to get messed up. And we know that sleep, getting enough of it, is very, very important to our overall health. Yes, it helps with our healing, it helps our mood, yeah. it helps Most our definitely. ability I to I feel like she looked think. at me when she said that. <laughs> it, it makes us murdery when we're tired, but, but it really does affect our longevity. People oh who gosh. work swing shift and are chronically... <laughs> you know, lacking sleep. We both have experience with that. Left. Ten years, oh, they gosh. takes off their oh. life. Well, yes. great. Yeah. Can, did actually. the morning show for eight, so. And I only did two and a half, so I think I'm, I'm turning out a little better, <laughs> <Yeah>. maybe. <laughs> but daylight savings time, the week after that, the rate of accidents and things like that, like you're more yeah. likely to get an accident I've next week. That. Yeah. yeah, I have heard that before. Like you, um, you can get like a sick or like some very mm -hmm. serious things have happened to people mm -hmm. um, around this time. Now I did have to ask several people today, um, do we get more sleep or do we get less sleep? So this one, we, we more, technically think, get technically? another hour. Yes. But it like, you're falling back. You're, you're falling back, but yeah. it really, it just, but it messes with everything. It messes. Yes. Like your so circadian we have to start, rhythm. We have to start now yeah. to know we're rested by the time like Sunday and Monday come around yeah. when we're like, I'm not actually tired yet. Yeah. Right. So we have to plan ahead to be rested going into it because animals and kids oh, yeah, don't kids. they don't play by this whole no. daylight savings time oh, thing. Great. So that is what Can't messes wait. us up, <laughs> yeah. right? It yeah. messes us up with our ability to stay asleep and get good quality sleep. Yeah. So, yeah. so some of the tips that you're offering, uh, you know, we need to eat well, mm -hmm. which easier said than done, and also nap. Napping is good. So yeah. oh, next week that. when we're extra tired, she's like, yeah, <laughs> when we're extra tired, we have to take naps, but you can't nap too long. You shouldn't no. nap more than 20 minutes, more just 20 minutes, literally okay. power naps and not in bed. Like just try to like close your eyes somewhere oh. else because when you go to bed, like that is where you're supposed to be. Asleep. So it's just the eight hours. Just, right. yeah. 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 It's like, I'm going to take a little power nap and then get up and get active again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is super interesting. So next week when you see me in, in this studio, <laughs> Right there. With my eyes nice. closed on the little couch, a little cat just, in, right? you know what, mind your business, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm taking my little cat nap. Um, so that is all interesting. Uh, napping yeah. is good for that. In general, uh, beyond this weekend mm -hmm. even, right. um, you also have some tips on how to sleep better. Lots of us struggle with getting good sleep, but there are some things yes. we can do. Yes, so we have a graphic, I think, of it, but sleeping better is obviously avoiding the things we know. Caffeine, yes, right. yes affects people. And it affects us, some people longer, some people yeah. like digest it in their brain longer but mm -hmm. also alcohol affects our sleep yes I have heard that like yeah. drinking glasses of wine or whatever mm -hmm. before you go to sleep like you it, may not even know you're tossing and turning yeah, yeah. it decreases the quality of your sleep okay. which makes us tired um, so but also like being outside mm -hmm. um, and being active physically active really really helps our the quality of our sleep yeah okay. um, and it reduces our stress levels which helps us sleep and things like that but getting adjusted I mean my patients that's probably the number one benefit that they say is yeah. I slept so much better yes yeah mm -hmm. absolutely but we you know on the note of being active and being mm -hmm. outside you don't want to do it too late though right yeah if you if you're exercising in the evening some for some people it yeah. does disrupt their sleep cycle and yeah. technology like the school Scrolling, yeah. and that has been like one thing for me that I really have to like be careful of mm -hmm. is just not just getting off the phone. Yeah, and that blue light. It's the energy of it. It's yeah. the way it kind of yeah. wakes you up. But also like the blue light that comes from technology yeah. does affect um, our ability to yeah. relax our brain. But it makes you have weird dreams, right? When, yes. you, when yes. you see all these different people on Facebook yeah. and then you put them together. They're in all dream. your dreams. Yeah. And it's so easy. You'd be just like, oh, I'm just going to go check something real quick. Yeah. And then you just get down You're a rabbit it. hole. And then mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. before you know it, it's midnight and you're like, I should be in bed right now. Yeah, you yeah. have to wind down. And that's the, why we want to talk about it today is so we can start winding things down earlier yeah. um, in the day to get good quality sleep for the next few days. So sleep posture and mattresses. Mm -hmm. So uh, the how how we're sleeping matters. I am a stomach and a side no. sleeper and oh. I read this information and it's yeah. no, no, do not sleep no. on your stomach. No. no. Sleep on your back. If you were in a classroom and you were sitting clear in the edge with your head turned like this, 
for six hours, you would know that's bad for your neck. <laughs> but you sleep you like that. you put it that, like that, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, people sleep like that. And off, often, I tell them, you know, try to lay with your head the other way, and you'll know how stretched out the yes. ligaments have gotten that way. Like, there's it's a way. It's impossible. Yeah, so it's not good for you. Okay. It really yeah. strains your neck. Okay, and you know, going back to the whole rest thing, rest is important. We shouldn't feel guilty about resting. Right. Because for me, no. sometimes when I'm, like, with my kids especially, I'm like, oh, I got to rest, but I can't. Yes, it's prioritizing your health to make you be a better human, nicer, yeah. kinder, your brain works better, you're more efficient. And sometimes there are certain seasons when we're either fighting something right. or we've had a sick child and we right. haven't slept. We have to just really say, like, I am prioritizing, they put it in there, yeah. I am I'm prioritizing rest. rest right now. So you're not being lazy. <laughs> yeah, All right, prioritizing. Well, Nelson Chiropractic is located in the Cumberland Square Shopping Center in Bettendorf. Contact information is on your screen. And you can learn more about what they do on their website. Yeah, Thanks oh so my much. gosh. Tracy, thank you so thank much. You. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. News at 4 with Sharon coming up next. Have a great evening.